How's it going guys? So yeah, I'm trying something different uh, in this video. Well actually no, I've done this before. I've done uh, videos from this point of view before. Um, I don't know. Just kind of got tired of sitting on the ground. That's what I usually do. And I, I thought about continuing making videos like this for a while, but seeing as how my fucking window's right there, I kind of figured that would make too much of a glare. I don't know, so I'm going to do it this time. I'm going to see how it looks, how it turns out, and then if I liked if I liked doing it like this, then this is probably how I'll do my videos from now on. So, yeah. So, yeah, um, got another episode of Let's Talk uh, Melodic Death Metal. Um, I got a lot of really good um, responses from episode one, and I know I said that I was going to try and make it a weekly series, but unfortunately that uh, is not going to happen. Um, but um, instead of talking about just one album, I'm going to, um, I threw in three albums in this video. Um, all three of these albums um, are strong favorites of mine within the genre. Um, a couple of them, well, fuck it, all of them are super underrated. Um, I never hear anybody talk about them. So I feel like they just need to get some attention, and if you guys haven't heard any of these albums, you definitely need to. So, um, yeah, let's get started. It's the first one I'm going to talk about. Um, I've talked about this band plenty of times on this channel. Um, their newest album, uh, they just released a new album this year. Um, it's definitely going to be on my end of the year list, but um, this is their debut album. This is a blaze my sorrow with if emotions still burn. This is really fucking good stuff, man. Um, when people talk about um, Swedish melodic death metal, this is not particularly a band that pops up in discussion. You know, I mean, usually, usually the main bands that people fucking bring up when you talk about you know, Swedish mellow death metal is usually, you know, In Flames, Dark Tranquility, At The Gates, you know, fucking like soil work and stuff like that. If soil work is even still considered melodic death metal, I don't know. Um, but yeah, man, just no one ever fucking talks about this band. Um, I guess probably because they didn't really make it that big. Um, but yeah, I mean, this, what year did this come out? Ninety. Fuck. It was either, I think it was 96. I'm pretty sure. Released on No Fashion Records. And it also really doesn't help that this uh, CD uh, was never repressed. Um, which, it really needs to get repressed. I mean, it, this was never released on vinyl or anything. Um, it, it would be really cool... Um, if they could at least do like a, a repress of all their older albums, at least on CD, at least if not on vinyl, at least on CD, you know, because those older albums were also released. I think they had two other albums after this before their newest album this year. And uh, they were also released on no fashion and everybody that knows, you know, fucking underground Swedish metal and shit from back then knows that, fucking like any cd pressed on or any vinyl or cd pressed on no fashion records is worth fucking money um so it would just be really nice to see uh represses because i still i still would like to get their other two albums at least on well on cd because they're not available on vinyl but yeah but yeah man, this, this is just not a band that people fucking talk about and that really needs to change because this band's fucking great um I will, I mean, I'll, I'll post a link in the description, obviously, so you guys, if you haven't heard it, you can check it out. Um, Rise Above the Storming Sea is probably one of my, is probably my favorite song on the album. Um, the title track is also one of the best tracks on the album. But yeah, man, definitely give this a fucking listen if you haven't. Um, this is essential melodic death metal, in my opinion. Really fucking good stuff. And check out their new album as well that they just put out. Um, like I said, that 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 shit's gonna be on my end of the year list. It's fucking great. So yeah, check this out if you haven't. Ablaze my sorrow if emotions still burn. 
Alrighty, now, um, um, this next band, obviously, everybody fucking knows this band, uh, they're well fucking established in the melodic death metal scene, um, I know, um, uh, a lot of you will probably be surprised that I didn't pick, like, one of their earlier albums, but I feel like, um, I feel like the early albums, especially the gallery, get a lot of attention, um, but pers but me personally, I always thought that, uh, Damage Done by Dark Tranquility, I always thought this was their best album, their, their peak in my opinion. Um, this album and a, and a character, but I chose this one because this, this has always been my favorite Dark Tranquility album. Um, especially, um, after, uh, what, this was the album that came out after Haven, um, Haven was kind of a disappointment compared to the albums that came prior to that. So I feel like Dark Tranquility really kicked it up a notch when they put out this album. Um, and I mean in fucking songs like, uh, Monochromatic Stains, Cathode Ray, Sunshine, um, The Trees and Wall, fucking amazing tracks, man. Um, and nobody... Just nobody really fucking talks about this album. Um, so that's why I picked it. I know you guys are probably really sick and tired of me talking about this band on my channel, but they're one of my favorite fucking bands, so it's gonna happen. Kind of like how... Fuck. What's another YouTuber that talks about like the same fucking band all the time? I don't know. Oh yeah, kind of like how fucking Wyatt XM always talks about Anal Nothrock, or I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. You know, it's one of your favorite bands. You know, of course you're gonna talk about it a lot. But yeah, man, this definitely need to fucking listen to this album if you have not. Um, even if you've never heard Dark Tranquility, man, fuck, man, start with this album. This is a really fucking good album. Uh, never a dull moment. Um, in my opinion, this is their best release. Um, I know a lot of people would probably disagree with me. A lot of people would probably say the gallery is their best release, but I really love this album. So yeah. Dark Tranquility Damage Done. Fucking essential, essential melodic death metal right here. Really good. And who knows, maybe the gallery will, maybe the gallery will appear in one of my future episodes of Let's Talk Melodic Death Metal. You never know. But honestly, the main reason why... Because um, I cause I probably would have went ahead and done that one first, but sad to say, I do not own the gallery on CD or vinyl, and I want to be able to show something when I talk about these albums. So, yeah. All right, and the last album I'm going to talk about, um, this, is, this, is, this is a band I never, ever ever have heard anybody talk about anybody mention in any of their videos or anything um i've talked about them a couple times in a couple videos um of course it's been a while but um these guys only put out one album really fucking good album man um uh this is the moaning with blood from stone Really fucking good, really, really fucking good Swedish uh, melodic death metal. Um, it kind of borders on melodic uh, black metal as well, but I feel like this has a more, uh, uh, I feel like this is more on the death metal side. I don't know. It, it could go either way, so that's why I included it. And I'm going to shut off my computer screen so it doesn't catch that fucking <laughs> that glare. Alrighty. Yeah, man. Um, now, fortunately, Century Media was able to get their hands on this, and uh, they re-released it back in 2012. They re-released it on CD and vinyl, which is fucking nice. So I also I also have the CD repress as well. Um, it was originally released on No Fashion Records, which, unless you have like fucking, you know. Unless you want to fork over, you know, 20 to 30 bucks on a, on a no fashion copy, then you might as well go for a, go for the Century Media repress. 
Shouldn't be that hard to find. Um, I, I know, I know Ominous Domain had it at one point. I don't know if they still have it. So if you're interested, check there first. Um... Really fucking good album, man. I fucking love this album. It's so fucking good. Um, and just one thing that's really fucking cool about this as well. I think it was their guitar player was like fucking... How old was he? I think he was like fucking 16 when they recorded this shit. Yeah. Yeah, fucking 16-year-old did the lead guitar on this album, which is fucking insane. I mean, when you listen to this album and you hear some of that fucking really nice lead guitar work, you'll be like, God damn. Fuck, such a good album. I'm telling you guys, if you have not heard this album, you need to, you need to, especially if you love melodic death metal. Definitely got to listen to this. Um, best tracks are definitely uh, the title track of Darkness I Breed, Dying Internal Embers, and Mirror of the Soul. Those are definitely the best songs in the album. Um, but check out the whole fucking album if you can. It's really good. It should not disappoint. This is really fucking good stuff. Moaning Blood from Stone. Please check that out if you haven't really good melodic death metal all right guys that's it. that's it for this episode of let's talk melodic death metal um uh by the way thanks uh i forgot to say this at the beginning of my video but thanks everybody for your suggestions um like i said um the albums that i'm going to be showing i i, I want to be able to show like a cd or a, some kind of physical thing so if i don't already own the album on a physical format um, it's going to be kind of, it's going to be hard for me to include it in the video because I won't have anything to show, obviously, but, um, I don't know. We'll wait and see what happens. Um, I got a couple more albums in mind that, um, I'm going to include for uh, episode three. Um, but keep, keep the suggestions coming though, for real. Um. Yeah. But yeah, thanks guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.